something that's been happening for uh, how long how long was this right uh, but if you guys are not aware Wuthering Wave suffer from the same things like Genshin or Zenlan Zonzi uh, I guess ZZ or even Honkai Star to a certain extent leaks leaks is something that has been happening in Wuthering Wave so they released this Wuthering Wave developer uh, notes saying about stuff like uh, okay let's read this right uh, talking or addressing the leaks uh, I'm kind of curious what is this essay all about so you can see right dear rovers since the start of version 1.1 CBT, our work has been overshadowed by unauthorized content leaks. These leaks have spread fast and wide. Uh oh! Uh oh! Now, here's the thing including story cutscenes, story board drafts, character concept art, and even discarded environment assets. Many of you have expressed frustration at encountering leaked content despite your efforts to avoid it largely due to platform algorithms okay i can see i can see this being annoying right so for me like yesterday i went to twitter and i saw camellia leaks right uh, it's not something that again leaks is like sometimes right i can see how it's annoying if somebody force it onto you or like i mean not force it onto you but more like the platform force it into you without you wanting to see them and sometimes you're just browsing through and you can see them as well i can see like some people don't like that for sure right but at the same time like I don't know how they can actually solve this. How do you actually solve issues like this, right? I'm just kind of curious. Because if you ask people to test your game, it's going to always happen. Leak will always be a thing. These unverified leaks have dulled uh, the impact of our official version updates and caused major spoilers, undermining the experience we've carefully crafted for you. Uh, yep, story spoilers is a thing. Last month, we issued a statement condemning leaks and received widespread support from our community. Thanks to these many leakers, Realize the harm they were causing and cease the activities. Unfortunately, within the launch of version 1.4, we are once again facing severe leaks of unreleased content. Wow. Uh, developing a new version is meticulous and time consuming. Okay. A character creation, for example, begins several versions ahead with user research. Uh, months followed by months of design, development, testing, fine tuning. So, this is uh, the process of making a character. Okay. Before each update, we conduct a closed beta test to ensure the final product meets player expectations. Promotion only begins when everything is ready, with methodically scheduled moments to provide the best experience. We believe this approach ensures consistent, polished releases allowing players and content creators to fully engage with each update. Unfortunately, leaks disrupt this process taking away the element of surprise and undermining the hard work of our team members who put their hearts into every detail yeah for sure this is going to happen again right in response to the damage caused by these leaks we have implemented stronger measures to prevent future incidents okay these measures include reinforcing confidentiality in our test servers oh they don't have this yet I think they should have had this to begin with, right? Because like that's how the leaks get out. Because how else do leaks get out if it's not because of this particular this particular uh, issue, right? Pretty much. I think it's always going to happen if there's no confidentiality. But I guess it makes people like a little bit scared to want to test as well, right? Issuing formal warnings and collaborating with various content sharing uh, platforms to remove unauthorized material. Additionally, we have inti initiated legal proceedings legal they're gonna sue people against severe breaches of intellectual property which are currently progressing through the courts we're committed to defending our work against unauthorized distribution and are prepared to take further legal actions as needed with 1.4 on track and preparations for official marketing underway the team is focused on developing our next major update a brand new area that we have been designing based on all the feedback from you since launch okay so this is our a hint right here we're going to have a new area. This new area is a true co-creation between us and the player community. In a way, it belongs to all of us. We call on all players to cherish this creative journey together. Please help us protect our hard work by standing against leaks. We will continue gathering evidence against those who steal and distribute our unreleased materials. If you encounter any leaks, we encourage you to report them to us via our dedicated email legal at kurogames.com wow they want players to destroy leakers and then report the leakers to this website 
interesting. Once again, we extend our deepest thanks to all of you for your love and support. Wuthering Waves Developer Team, October 21st, 2024. So you can see right here, some people already start listing down all the leakers sending to Kuro Games. Leakers are getting destroyed. Today's a downfall. Downfall of leakers, right? No more leaks. So this is like a, a massive thing. So we'll see, right? Glad to see it's your work. Your real community supports you. Uh, thank you for taking action against the leakers. Some leaks build hype. Kid animations, knowing we'll get companion stories. Story leaks shouldn't be allowed. Outside of that, roadmaps would be nice to know for future quality of life or features that such are being worked on. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do think that some sort of roadmap would be sort of nice, right? If there's compensation, you will do it. I'm not sure, right? Compensation, uh, they didn't really mention, right? These new actions reduce leaks significantly. It sucks seeing the updates dampened by these accounts. Look forward to seeing the new area. I think the new area is also like they don't want people to leak the area as well. Leaking in content creations is, is low class to, to begin with. Industry why you are look like a snitch. I have no idea why it became popular as it did. Purposely being a snitch for some views. I mean, yeah, why not, right? People will do it for some views. Uh, I don't think if it's a, if a game that nobody cares, people wouldn't leak, right? I think people leak it mostly for views. Report your neighbors if you catch them leaking. I mean, like, it's already happening, right? Why risk getting into legal trouble? I think it's because it hasn't happened yet. People people are okay with doing it as long as people know that they, they can get away with it. Uh, as long as people can get away with it, it is something that they're going to be willing to risk, right? Leaks will not stop if it's possible to reduce the history later once completely. Take all the actions needed. Now, I don't think it will stop either, actually. I don't think, like, this one is going to do much. Because, like, this has been happening in Genshin for a long time, right? Leaks is always a thing in Genshin. If Genshin can't solve it, can Wuthering Wave actually solve this issue? Because it's still happening in Genshin as far as I know. There's still always leaks happening left and right. So I, I don't think it's as easy as just, oh, we're just going to ask you to report them for us. Uh, that's pretty much it. Let's see. So somebody here uh, wrote this particular post. Where is this? Here we go again, a new copy paste from Kuro Games. Instead of removing story-related content from the beta, they write a new wall of text about how they are fighting leaks in an uneven battle. Instead of removing the story-related content from the beta. Wait, why would they remove that? That's the beta, right? They want you to test the story as well. You can't just remove the story content from the beta. Like the whole idea of beta is to let players test the new content or to test for them right that's the whole purpose of it right i think people are people misuse the beta usually to try to gather information and try to leak it to the public but most of the time the beta is for you to test the new characters there's a new region then of course with that there's a new story and stuff right and if you can like report something that's usually how they want it to be plenty of options to stop the leaks they chose one that won't do anything ah uh, they chose one to ask people to ask uh, to, to basically like email to them, which is kind of a interesting approach, I would say, right? This is already a second wall of text from them about how they're dealing with leaks, yet they haven't taken any real action. They should actually do some legal action to actually show that they are serious. If they, they don't do anything, then they, they can't do anything, right? Why can't they take a page from Genshin? Uh, all story-related content is removed from the beta. Uh, some crowds of information remain, but you can't piece together a full picture. Instead, they put all quests and all cutscenes and everything else into the beta where they aren't needed. I'm guessing Kuro don't have like that big of a, of a team, right? And to remove certain things individually or partially seems like it will take more effort and more, uh, you know, more things to do overall. Maybe they don't want that as well. The devs listen. The devs do listen, right? But again, this is something that they definitely need to uh, settle. I'm not sure if... There's actually a solution for this, actually. You can do this. You can ask people to send you the leaker's email. But the moment there's one person leaking on the internet, people can just copy and, and paste. Yeah, I, I already saw this one, right? Time to mail some leakers ruined my experience. I muted them since their screenshots were everywhere. I hate the leakers too. Huh. A brand new area we've been designing. Leaks aren't just going to stop because you say so. They exist with every media. 
it's inevitable if you really want to fight against them, increase your security measures to actually make a point against leakers. The only thing that uh, they can actually do to prevent, like completely prevent it as, at all is to like not let anyone test the game, right? Hire internal testers and stuff. Hire like people that actually play the game to actually just test internally. I think that's the only best way. Uh, it's always going to happen for sure. But yeah, that's just, uh, that's my opinion though, right? I could be wrong, but I, I doubt this can actually just be resolved just like that. <laughs>